hello everybody welcome to my channel um, today I am doing a spooky almost Halloween edition but not really just a horror themed questionnaire um, I've seen this floating around YouTube and other places and so I figured why not I'll try it I wrote out the questions that I heard in the other videos so this will probably be a longer video I'm not really sure hmm. this paper give me some good light hmm. anyway so this will probably be a longer video if you don't like long videos this one might not be for you I like Q&A's just because it gives you the opportunity to get to know somebody you know I like them anyways so let's get into it the first question is, what is my favorite Halloween song? So, it's kind of a tough question because I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I know a lot of Halloween themed songs. I mean, obviously, like, The Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack. Um, that's, I don't know. Hmm. This is Halloween is a pretty good song for the Halloween theme or... So, um, I guess that soundtrack would be my favorite Halloween songs. Uh, this is starting out to be a horrible Q&A. Okay, so the next question is, what is something you would not want to run into in the woods or an abandoned building? Um, anything? I wouldn't want to run into anything in the woods or an abandoned building. Um, what are you... I'm sticking with nothing. I don't want to run into anything ever because no ma'am. Mm -mm. The next question is, have you ever played or used a Ouija board? And the answer is no. Do you want demons? Because that's how you get demons. Uh-uh. Um, the fourth question is, what is your favorite monster or horror villain? I love Freddy Krueger. I, I don't know what it is. Elm Street scared the crap out of me. I'm telling you, probably because like he comes to you when you're sleeping, what can you do? Like you're asleep, but you're dying in real life. Like, no, he's my favorite. I mean, you know, I can, I love it. I loved Elm Street. So what is the creepiest thing that has ever happened when you were alone? Okay, so when i was a teenager i was at home it was the middle of the night okay my my mom was asleep everyone was asleep i was up watching tv because even when i was a teenager i was a night owl i stayed up really late and slept in and whatever so i um i was in the living room and like we were really poor so we all slept in the living room except for my grandma who slept in the bedroom and so the way that my living room was set up was like I had a couch that went this way facing the TV and behind the couch like in the corner was where my mom would sleep so I thought that I saw my mom get up and go this way which would have been towards the bathroom and um, I I didn't see my mom physically I just saw a shadow walk that way out of my peripheral vision so I assumed that because it had come from where my mom was that it was my mom so this shadow that I think is my mom walks behind me and towards the bedroom and then a couple minutes later we had this painting that was hanging on the wall and it like came crashing down and it woke everyone up and like I look back because I had not seen anyone come back from the bathroom I look back expecting to see my mom not there and she had just like was startlingly awoken by the painting falling down so that's probably like the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me when I was alone ish I wasn't alone alone because my mom was there but she was asleep so I was alone in the moment okay um would you stay overnight at a haunted house yeah i actually one of like my bucket list things is i really want to stay at the lizzie borden bed and breakfast 
I am I'm in love with creepy stuff like that I love it I I wish that I had the opportunity to do more creepy stuff I have to be you know a responsible adult but I would definitely stay at a haunted house absolutely so the next question is are you superstitious and I am NOT a superstitious person um, for example yesterday at my job I had to move a ladder out of the way and the ladder is like twice my height so I pulled it this way and then I had to walk underneath it to get out so you know if I was a superstitious person I would have been stuck because you would not walk under a ladder if you were superstitious but uh yeah no not really although I enjoy superstitions I love hearing superstitions I don't that's not something that takes a huge part of my life um do you see things in your peripherals yeah shadows that I think are my mom uh, okay which urban legend scares you the most La Llorona hands down La Llorona was gonna get me as a child you don't understand I was convinced I was convinced I was a bad child I went outside at nighttime La Llorona was gonna get me she was gonna do it so that is the scariest urban legend for me because she was gonna get me okay so um do you prefer gore or thrillers I prefer thrillers I don't really care for gore it doesn't bother me but I don't if I had to sit down and choose between like a sci-fi thriller movie and like saw I'd choose the thriller movie I don't I don't want to do this all um, so do you believe in multiple dimensions or other worlds? I feel like, is that like an alien question? I don't... I guess you could say that I, I believe in other worlds because if you believe that there's a heaven and a hell or if you believe that ghosts exist and there has to be another dimension where they are, you know what I'm saying? So like, I guess you could say because I believe in the spirit world yes absolutely and also because I really hope that Rose and the doctor are happy in that parallel dimension just saying the next question is have you ever made a potion on Minecraft um, I'm working on my Minecraft potions in real life I don't think that that's a thing that I have ever done no uh do you scare easily i don't think that i scare easily um in the most common sense for example like when scary stuff happens i'm kind of like oh but if like you pop up at me i'm like ah, you know so no i don't scare easily but i startle pretty pretty normally i, I guess Maybe not easily, but like I, it's not too complicated to startle me. Um, have you ever played Bloody Mary? Yes, and nothing happened. But let me tell you, let me tell you like a story that my best friend told me. So my one of my best friends from my childhood told me the story about when she played bloody mary she said that she went into the bathroom and she turned all the lights off and she went into the mirror and she said bloody mary three times or whatever flush the toilet there are a lot of different this is what you should do to call whoever right so she did that and she said that when it, when she did it she saw these bright green eyes in the mirror and that the whole bathroom flashed green and that she started screaming like a crazy person and then she ran out and then she never did it again and um when she told me that story i was like i'm never gonna do this again i cannot so it doesn't seem that scary now but i don't know in the moment when she was telling me i was like i'm done bruh i can't ever do this again so <laughs> all right are demons or the devil real i don't know i don't i'm not you know an expert um i 
in my opinion. Um, absolutely, I think that demons and the devil are real because the devil is a lie. Okay, anyway, no, but um, that is something that I believe in, I guess. Yeah, um, if you were home alone and you heard footsteps what would you do not a damn thing okay what i'm home alone and i hear footsteps mm -mm. i'm not screaming hello i don't need to investigate uh-uh mm -mm. i don't do a damn thing not one except for ignore it okay ignore it what was your first halloween costume my first Halloween costume, um, I was a clown. My mom put like little face paint on me and had me, it was kind of just like a tattered, I don't know, colorful, I don't really remember, obviously it was my first Halloween, but I've seen pictures, um, so I guess I was a hobo clown or something of that nature. Um, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? Um, I don't know. I am so torn. Like, I, I always, well, okay. Since I've had children, I stick to a theme. Like, whatever my kids are, I'm related to that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, last year, my kids were Batman and Robin. I was Harley Quinn. And my husband was the Riddler. But this year, we don't know if my husband is going to be able to go trick-or-treating with us. So if he doesn't, then I kind of have to figure out, like, a three-person theme instead of a four-person theme. I really wanted to do, like, a Game of Thrones theme this year where, obviously, I would be Khaleesi. My husband would be called Drogo, and then the kids would be dragons. But, you know, I don't know. I guess I could still be Khaleesi, and they could be dragons. I really haven't decided. If all else fails, I'll just be a pirate. <laughs> Uh, okay, so if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, what would you choose? Um, a Halloween pet. What? It, like a talking jack o' lantern? Can I do that? Halloween pet? So, I mean, talking jack o' lantern. That's what I'm going with. Definitely talking jack o' lantern. So, um, which scary movie would you want to be in? House of a Thousand Corpses. Is that, a, is that considered a scary movie? House of a Thousand Corpses. Next question is, if you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would it be? Alice in Wonderland. Rest of my life, I could do it every year Alice in Wonderland uh, okay will you ever go to a graveyard at night maybe I can't say that I wouldn't I can't say that it's never crossed my mind just because I'm into that kind of stuff so possibly what is your weapon of choice for a zombie apocalypse okay okay so look it cannot be a gun, obviously, because ammunition is real, okay? So it would have to be, like, a machete. I would go total walking dead. Get a machete, all right? Michonne, we doing this. Like that, okay? Because if it gets dull, you can learn to sharpen it. But if you run out of bullets, you, there, what is your backup plan? You just gonna pistol whip everybody? Not gonna happen. Machete. All right. Next question is, um, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? I would, I would rather go trick-or-treating, um, just because I enjoy doing that with my children, and I don't think I've ever, oh wait, you know what, I went to a Halloween party last year, and, um, it, it was okay. We didn't even stay long. It was kind of like, Hey everybody, yeah, thanks for some free food, all right, and then went to the bars. So, I would much rather go trick-or-treating and then go to bars afterwards. That's what I prefer to do. Okay, so, um, 
in a horror movie, are you the final survivor, the skeptic, the first to die, the comic relief, or the killer? Probably... I... I'm not gonna be the first to die, for one, okay? Because I'm not that person. I'm like, hello? Hello? I don't care who's there. Uh-uh. Not today, boo-boo. And then people who are running and they fall. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, I don't fall. So, I would either be... I would like to think I would either be the final survivor or the killer. I can see myself being the killer because... It would depend on... Like, have you seen those, um... Almost like those Criminal Minds episodes where people, like, they have psychotic breaks and they just start killing specific types of people. I can see myself doing that. Like, like if I see a husband cheating on his wife, I'd freaking kill him. That would be my, that would be my own horror movie. Like, serial killer who kills adulterous men. That'd be me. Alright, um... When you watch a scary movie, do you yell at the characters, cover your ears, or go to sleep? I yell at the characters like, what are you doing? How did you just fall? What did you trip on? You've had those feet your whole life and you trip on them now, stupid? That's me. When you watch something scary, do you have to watch something happy afterwards? No, I don't have to. I mean, you know, like some people, they're like, spend all night watching horror movies, now I gotta watch some Disney so I don't die in my sleep. Like, I'm not really that person, um, although, if I watch a lot of horror movies by myself, then I might watch, like, a nature documentary or something afterwards, but I put those on anyway when I go to sleep, so I don't know. Do you get scared, or do you do the scaring? Um... I guess I get scared because I don't scare people intentionally ever. I'm not like a boo type of person, but um, my husband really enjoys jumping out and scaring me. So I guess I'm the scared. I'm the one that gets scared and not the scarer. All right. What is your favorite scary book? The Shining by Stephen King. I love that book and like if you've seen the movie the movie is one thing but if you've read the book the book is amazing of course the ending is not that great but uh, when I was a junior in high school I had to write an analysis paper on that book and like I could not put it down I loved it and the very last question is how old were you when you saw your first horror movie um I would have to be very very young because I don't remember a time in my life when I wasn't watching horror movies um, I was never like oh you can't watch this you can't watch that there were never really any limitations on my viewing and I remember um, I don't know like I just I've always watched scary stuff so I'm gonna say I was probably in the womb because my mom watches scary stuff too so I'm gonna go with I've always watched horror movies so all right those were all of the questions um you know you guys know me a little bit better now and that's cool if you guys want to do your own Q&A question and answer videos tell me about it I would love to watch it I'd love to get to know you guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a great day bye